fill out the team behind our favorite form software is at it again with a brand new product release. This time they're releasing something called fill out scheduling, a full fledged Calendly competitor. Now this announcement caught me off guard a little bit. I didn't think they'd be releasing a scheduling product, but it only makes sense because if you think about it, there's this big integration layer integrating to the calendar itself integrating to your database to be able to log the submission events, as well as capturing additional information about the people who are booking meetings with you, and that's perfect for Forms. If you haven't gotten started with Fillout yet, you can do so for free using the affiliate link in the description below. Now here's the coolest part, you get free unlimited seats for your entire team. So what they've done is they're releasing this new product, but they're really shaping it into Fillout's existing pricing model. So what that means is that you get up to a thousand meetings booked per month. They don't really care if that's a thousand form submissions and you're using a customer onboarding form, or if it's a thousand form submissions and you're doing it for the scheduling tool. Really, it's just a thousand submissions. Now, there are some additional features if you upgrade to a paid plan, including removing a fillout's own branding on these forms. Okay, so let's check it out and build our own scheduling form for the first time. So inside of fillout, I've got some different options here. This breaks down into forms, quizzes, and scheduling. We can just go ahead and click this button to say, create a new scheduling form. That's what we're gonna do first. But this is also something that you can incorporate into your existing forms as just a page at the end of the form if you want to. So here, let's go ahead and press the button to create a new scheduling form. Here, you've got the meeting title. This is going to be the type of meeting. So maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting or it's a free intro consultation that you're doing with prospects. Next, you can choose how long is this meeting going to be and you've got different durations that you can select. And then the meeting location is where you're going to host this. So we can add different meeting locations. I usually use Google Meets, but you've got options for Zoom. You can do it by phone or you can have in-person meetings. Let's press continue. Now, right away, this takes care of a lot of the setup for us. So we've got some settings that we can go through. We've got the title we created and all this information we did in the previous step. Next, we can set our availability. Here's where we can select our working hours and when we're available to book meetings during those times. We also can restrict how far in advance people can book these meetings. So by default, it's 30, but we could change it to just two weeks if we wanted to, put in 14 days. We could also put in a minimum notice. And so typically, I like to book just a day ahead of time so I can prepare for those meetings that I have. And we can also add in a buffer time, which is great because oftentimes you get booked in back-to-back -back meetings. So you could do maybe 15 minutes after the end of a meeting to make sure that we've got a little bit of wiggle room. It's not in half hour blocks all throughout the day. You can set up your own Google Calendar here. This is going to look at what meetings and conflicts you already have on your calendar, just to make sure it's not overlapping in what it's booking. And then once people actually schedule those events, it's going to write that onto your calendar. Fillout's releasing lots of new features almost daily on their scheduling tools. So this one is something that's actually coming in the near future, email and SMS booking reminders. So this can help the number of no-shows that you have by sending those reminders ahead of time. There's also some advanced settings here. We're showing you kind of the simplified version of we're basically just directly booking this meeting, but maybe you had a longer form. And so you're already collecting their email and name and you don't want to have them input that information again. So we could fill in this information dynamically and capture that from earlier in the form or something like URL parameters as well. This feature is going to be how it actually titles this on your calendar. And it's kind of cool because you can actually input those parameters dynamically as well. So here I've got the person's full name and then my own name. And this is how it's going to appear on our calendars when it sends out that invite. And then you can also choose what are people actually seeing as they're booking this? Can they book it at the half hour mark? Can it be every 15 minutes or 60 minutes? So that's the bulk of the logic behind the scheduling itself. But a really important piece of this is actually taking the information from the scheduling and we can write it to a database of our choice. So let's go ahead and click on integrations. I've chosen to sync mine to Airtable, but you can see they have a number of different integrations. So you could be doing Airtable, SmartSuite, Monday.com, HubSpot, Salesforce. There's lots of options. Now let me click on my Airtable integration. And here you can see we've mapped it to my contacts table that I have in a database. And we can map the fields that we have from Airtable and map that to their corresponding fields that we're retrieving from our actual scheduling that's happening inside of Fillout. Now, the last thing you might want to do is add your own custom confirmation page. There's one by default. It just says, thank you. And then it's got information about the meeting you just booked. But notice there's a ton of additional options here, including being able to add our own custom fields. We could send them to a new form if there's additional information we want to capture after they've booked that time with us. Or we could even do a redirect if we want to take them to a different page on our website. Let's go ahead and publish our form. And we can pop this open. 
And this is how it's going to appear to the viewer, the person who's trying to schedule time with us so they can find a date that works for them, pick a time, plug in their email and schedule the event. Then we've got our confirmation page and you can see it's written all the necessary information into Airtable, which is what we had integrated with Fillout. And we have the new event automatically added to our calendar with the information about the Google Meet link itself. And we can actually cancel or reschedule our meeting if necessary. That's got a link back to a fill-out form. But that really just starts to scratch the surface of what's possible with fill-out. So we showed you an example where it was just the scheduler itself. But let's take a look if we were to add additional information to a brand new form. So this time, let's just create a standard form. And we'll connect to Airtable. We'll choose our base and table. Give it a name. And now you'll notice because we integrated this with Airtable, we've got the different fields that are already a part of Airtable. So in this case, we have got a question. What can we help you with? And we're asking the user about their budget because we're trying to pre-qualify what might be the best fit for them. So let's change this page name to qualification. And now let's say if they have a really small budget, let's say under $1,000, we probably don't want to do a full project with them. And so doing a consultation might not necessarily make sense. So maybe we can offer on-demand support to individuals if they have a small budget. So let's add a new payment page here. And so of course, we'd make this look a little bit nicer here. We'd say, we think you're a good candidate for a paid consultation. And we'd pass them to Stripe. And then we could also make a scheduling page, and this could be using the new scheduling capabilities. And so this scheduling event is if they paid and they're doing a paid consultation. So this one will be for 60 minutes. And then we could add another page again for scheduling, use the scheduling features. And this one will be for people who have a larger scoped project. They have higher budgets, but we're going to give them a free consultation because we know in the end, it's gonna be a better project for us. So this one will be a free intro consultation 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and continue. So now you can see we've got some qualification questions. We've got payments. We've got our paid consultation scheduler and our free consultation scheduler as well. So this is where we could go into our page logic. Okay, so our qualification goes to payment and to a paid consultation, but let's delete this here. And then we could have another path come from our qualification to our free intro consultation. And we'll scoot this down here just for clarity. And this ending can be over here. Now you'd probably wanna actually create two different ending pages, but in this case, we'll just pretend we have a single one. So we could actually have these paths converge again to go to the same ending. And so we could say that paid consultation is our default path. And we could have a condition for this second path. Let's set that condition. We'll add a condition. We'll pick a reference. This is going to be from our qualification page. And we'll choose our budget. So if their budget is greater than, and let's put in $1,000. So if their budget is over $1,000, we're going to give them that free intro consultation. They'll book that with us and it'll take them to the ending. Or if they don't meet that condition and their budget is under $1,000, then they're going to take this standard path of going to that paid consultation. I hope you can see just how powerful Fillout's new scheduling tool is. You can get started for free using the affiliate link in the description below. And if you have any questions about your own automation project, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.